Hello Dyson, welcome to today's English lesson. Before we even start, can I tell you about something pretty weird that happened to me in the half term? Well, I was taking my daily exercise, just walking along, and I had my hood up and my welly boots on, and I was sploshing through the puddles. And I took my hood down because I thought that it had stopped raining. And then something landed on my head. Can you believe it? I thought, oh no, it might be a little bit of bird poo. So I looked and it was meatballs and spaghetti. What on earth is going on? Can you believe it? Meatballs and spaghetti were raining from the sky. I was like, this is not normal. So I picked up my telephone and I phoned Miss Wassell and I said, you'll never guess what happened to me. I was walking down the, down the road and it started raining spaghetti and meatballs. And Miss Wassell said, oh my goodness, do you know, the exact same thing happened to me. And that reminds me of a story I've read. Hmm, what story could she be talking about? Hmm, puzzling, I'll leave that one with you, you have a think. What story could Miss Wassell have been talking about? Okay, today we're going to be learning some new vocab, some new words that will help us with our story this week, okay? So can I use new vocabulary? Fantastic. Okay, and what we're going to do today is make a magpie list. Now, you know what a magpie list is. It is a list of words that we have taken and collected for ourselves, a bit like a magpie does. Okay, so what I would like you to do whilst we're doing this um, lesson is write down the vocab. This is just my example, we've done icy already. Write down the word and then draw a little picture to remind you of what the word means, okay? And if you want a, a challenge beyond that, you could also write some sentences for me with the word in it, okay? But the picture and the writing of the word is what you need to all do for this lesson today, okay? So let's get started. Whoops. Okay. The first words we're going to look at are the days of the week and you guys know the days of the week so let's do my turn your turn Monday fantastic Tuesday good Tuesday fantastic well done for joining in with me Wednesday Wednesday fantastic Thursday, good. Friday, ooh. Saturday, fantastic. And Sunday, good. So you need to write all of these words down and then draw a different picture for each one. So let me give you an example, maybe on Sunday, whoops, let's change that so we can write in the middle. On Sunday, maybe you could draw a picture of a roast dinner or a picture of you sleeping or something like that. Something that reminds you of Sunday. So you could draw a plate with your roast dinner on it and colour it in, okay? On Monday, 
you might draw something else. You might go on a special walk on Mondays or you might go on a run. You need to draw something for ooh, something for each day that reminds you of that day, okay? So a lot better than my picture because that's pretty, pretty bad. Okay, our next word. My turn, tornado, tornado. Now, a tornado is a vortex, so a spinning circle of rotating wind. So it's wind that spins really fast in a circle and it looks just like this. It looks like a cone shaped cloud coming down from the sky, but it's actually really, really fast winds. And these can be really damaging. They can, they can come and they can break houses and things. So tornado, your turn. Fantastic, okay. Our next word is downpour, downpour. We could say there's a downpour of rain. It's when the rain is falling really fast and really heavy, like this person is stuck in a downpour. Okay, so have a think about what picture you could draw to, to remind yourself of the word downpour. Okay, flooded, flooded. When something's flooded, the water has broken its banks. So if a river floods, the water goes over the sides of the river. And just like this picture here, starts to flood different areas. There's been lots of flooding at the moment around, around the country. Have a think about what you could draw for flooded. Okay, drizzle, drizzle. Well done for joining in. Um, drizzle is when the rain falls in really small droplets. It's really light and it falls really gently. Drizzle. Have a think about what you could draw for that picture. Now, that is the end of the lesson. What I would like you to do is go back, flick through the video if you didn't stop me, write down our vocab and draw a picture to remind you of those words, okay? Take a picture of it and post it onto Tapestry. Um, and that's it, fantastic work. Um, I'll see you soon, okay? Bye.